after much reflection, I've decided to um, essentially withdraw from school, not start school. Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Bridget, I'm a nurse practitioner. So I got POTS after getting COVID. I had COVID in December and I recovered and I was okay that time, but I ended up getting it again in May. And, um, and I was recently reading an article that if the more you tend to get COVID, the more likely you are to get long COVID. Also immunosuppressed, I have Sjogren's and I have to take a DMARD medication for the Sjogren's which suppresses my immune systems. Symptoms are worse in the morning. I continue to have uh, a lot of tachycardia, brain fog, dizziness. Uh, when I wake up in the morning, I had to go to my primary because they had first put me on propranolol, which is a non-cardio selective beta blocker. But um, I, and I have asthma, so I was finding that it was exacerbating my asthma, it was making it worse. So I requested an appointment with my primary to see if I could try a different beta blocker that was uh, cardio selective so that it doesn't affect my lungs as much. So I got switched to metoprolol. I do feel like it's been working better for me. Just imagine having tachycardia and on top of that, you feel like you can't breathe. So um, I, I've been doing, I forgot to mention that I have been referred to cardiology and I will be seeing a cardiologist in July. So I've been hoping and I've been praying um, that I eventually one day my body will recover and I will be able to not take the metoprolol. But if I don't take the metoprolol every day at this point, I, I can't function. Like my heart rate would be beating way too fast even if I'm just walking. Um, so with the, like when I'm sitting, I'm at like 60. As soon as I stand up, my heart rate shoots up to like 100, 110, 13. And like without the medication, if I don't sit down, it would just keep going up. Uh, so it's a pretty scary sensation. So in the past, like um, I when I when I was in graduate school, like when I initially went to school for nurse educator, I worked the entire time. I've worked the entire time um, when I was in school for FNP. I usually put a lot on my plate and I'm not saying it's healthy, but um, I'm used to juggling a lot and putting a lot on my plate. I did get accepted into a post master's uh, certificate program for psych NP and I was super excited into going. I was going to start in August and I was planning on continuing to work full time and go to school. However, I'm realizing that I can't jeopardize my health. Like I need to take time off to, to heal. With this long COVID and POTS, my body is already in like a hyper vigilant state. Like I think it's, I think my adrenal glands are just overworking. Like I stand up and all this adrenaline shoots up so that I feel like I am uh, running a marathon when I'm just walking. So after much reflection, I've decided to um, essentially withdraw from school, not start school. I've never had to drop out of school or quit anything really in my life before um, in regards to school. Like once I start school, I always go through. I've never failed a class on nursing. Like this will be the first time that um, I have had to withdraw from school and it's so unlike me, but I also recognize that I can't continue to push my limits and my boundaries when my health is at stake. So I think the healthiest thing for me right now is to just continue to work. I enjoy my job, the job I have currently. Talk about putting a lot on your plate right now. Full-time job, a part-time job as adjunct for a university in Central Florida and another part-time job for a telemedicine company. Now, the reason why I got the part-time telemedicine job was because the current job that I do full-time is, uh, is contingent on COVID and COVID testing. So once restrictions end or COVID ends, like that's it, I'm done with that job. So I didn't wanna be left out in the cold with no work and that's why I pursued the second part-time telemedicine job um, because the adjunct job really doesn't pay well. COVID had kind of dwindled down and they were kind of saying like, oh, we're going to have to start cutting people and, you know, start looking for another job. And then all of a sudden, like we started to get the spike again. It looks like I'm going to have my current full-time job for a while. So um, I'm just going to continue to work there until I know, until I no longer have a job. And then um, I think that this was the best decision for me now even though I really didn't want to do it and I was really excited about going back to school. But at the end of the day, you have to just put your health first and I have to start listening to my body and recognizing my limits. And right now, um, 
my body is in no shape to to go back to school. So if you're watching this and you're a type A like me and you're used to putting a lot on your plate and you're running yourself ragged, like there's no reason to do that. Like kind of lighten up your schedule a little bit and um, lighten up your schedule a little bit so that you're not stressing yourself out and um, burning the candle at both ends, like they say. So keep praying for me. Um, I'm praying that, like I said, like ideally I just want to get better when I do try to work out, like I feel like I'm on the verge of passing out, but I continue to push through and work out because really the one thing that they say helps with pods is exercise. So like I'm so used to being active and it's so strange that like I'll go to the gym and I'm doing some weights and I have to like stop because I feel like I'm going to pass out. Like that's so strange for me. Like I'm used to like supersetting and going at 100 miles an hour, but I'm hoping that exercise eventually my body will reset itself that's my hope that my body will reset itself make sure you hit the like button make sure you subscribe and make sure you turn on that notification bell drop a comment below i appreciate all the support and the prayers bye